All right, my name is Michael, and Peter's here with me. We're going to describe to you how to install the tire mount on the back of your, what is this vehicle called here again, Peter? It is a uh, Winnebago Travado. It's a Travado, and um, this is that's actually you in fast motion zooming around. Now, look at this monstrosity on the back of this thing. Obviously, that really doesn't do very good for it, access to in and out of the vehicle, right? Correct, and uh, it eliminates the ability to carry bikes on the on the tow ball. So that's part of the reason why the owner wanted to change it. Right here, you're using the uh, the supplied license plate frame. It's got LEDs built into it, so you've actually attached the license plate already. Now uh, you're on the inside of the left hand door. What are you doing here? You have to remove the uh, covers for the screws that hold it uh, hold the cover to the door. And these are one-time use screws, but, you know, it's one of those things you just got to be gentle when you put them back in. Gentle. Okay. All right. <laughs> I got that. Gentle. Gentle. I'm going to make fun of your accent the whole, the whole way through this thing. All right. So you're taking care to uh, take these things and you're storing them somewhere on the vehicle, obviously, so mm -hmm. you can get back to them. Yep. You're removing the actual, that is basically Winnebago's product there, right? Correct. Because it's got, it's got the, the toilet paper roll built into it. Correct. And you don't want to drop it or anything because it'll crack. Right, and yeah. you're removing the sound and heat insulation. Yes, this is you, some some of the cars. It's uh, some of the vehicles. It's foam. Oh, and you're not throwing that away. You're actually just placing <laughs> it so you can. Oh, so you can reuse it. Okay, I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep okay. up with you. What are you doing here? We're popping out the 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 standard or OEM uh, light bulbs from the actual light rack on the outside. And that's what would the normally would light up the license plate, correct? Correct, correct. Okay. They actually stay connected all the time. We do not remove those. Otherwise, you'd have a uh, computer code on the dashboard. Right, so you just leave those lights mm -hmm. in. You're going to reinstall them at the and end. That's, that's a 10 millimeter nut to remove those three uh, three nuts. And that's the nut. light mount? Mm -hmm. So you've removed that, so now you have access to slip wires through, etc. correct? Correct. It's going to go back in place. This cable is the door lock cable, and uh, it's sometimes it can get in the way, so it's easier just to remove it. Because you'll be drilling this door in a few minutes here, right? Correct. Okay, now you got a template. This is the left-hand template. There's going to be a, a right-hand template as well, which is pretty much the same thing in reverse than this, because it's got the cutout, as you can see on the lower left there, for the door handle, right? Correct. So how... Do you have to align this thing perfectly, or is this just kind of like guesswork here? What do you? Uh, what? It's 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 pretty much as long as it's somewhere close. It's it's more important that it's probably horizontal. That that, that you know that's it's. So people know, driving behind you don't go. Oh, that that thing's crooked. crooked. That looks weird. And exactly. Not they'll that pull, you they'll pull you over. All the all the OCDC ACDC people will pull you over and OCDC. demand <laughs> demand that you fix it. All right, so you just tape it down. Um, you're going to mount it with the paper on there? What is it? What are you doing here? What, We're just what? doing a comparison to make sure that the uh, paper aligns with the uh, actual holes on the mount. I see. Because okay. the, paper, right. the paper can stretch and shrink with, you know, with moisture. Right. Double checking it, and it's roughly Yeah, it's what's approximately, I believe it's seven and a half inches it looks, approximately well, from looks the like edge. like seven upside down, but... Um, yeah, I think right, now you're now you're marking the actual Holes. paint job where, mm -hmm. where you're going to drill. Yep. And I can see that there. That's stunningly beautiful. It looks like you're trying to turn into Banksy on the back. So of obviously the car. you're going to use yeah silver pin on a black car or a black van, and then a. Uh, black All right. So this is the this is the mounting kit, and it's kind of laid out so that you can see where the parts. Correct. Go. You, yeah, you may you may want to pause it here. You know, if you're if you're using it, so you can actually you know map it out. Uh, obviously, it's not together, but that shows you which parts go in which corners. Okay. That's it. It says so we, always we, measure multiple times. What, what, what is it? Measure four, five times, drill once. What, what is exactly, the exactly? Uh, exactly, and you'll see. Oh, here. oh, look at this part. Oh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> hundred thousand so, dollars so vehicle, may, and you're putting holes in it. Look, you at may want to send a send a punch. <laughs> you may want to send a punch these holes. Uh, I I find that I don't need to because I have a good drill bit, and uh, oh, I'm holding the drill with so my painful. hand. Painful. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's the holes from the inside. Correct. And now we're going to use a, uh, a, um, oh, a stick oh, drill. Oh, 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 that looks so unbelievably <laughs> painful. So you're going to cut these to the second step. You could go all the way out to half inch, uh, but normally it's just a little bit under. I think it's 14 millimeters. And this is so the bolts actually fit through those holes, correct? Correct, correct. It just all has right. to be larger than the holes. 
So here's a breakdown of the actual mounting plates, and you're going to mount those onto this. And uh, no, it says here the taller is, side of the pyramid. How, do, how does that? Oh, a, I see, because there's a curve in the door. There's a yes, there's a curve. So it's it's wider at the bottom and narrower at the top of the of this bottom mount. So you're going to have the th the thinner side at the top and the thicker side. Who at the who bottom. engineered this uh, uh, this this mount? Is it some sort of a genius that, that did it? <laughs> that would be Mark. Mark's. Mark engineered it. This is the trickiest part of the install. Getting these bolts and everything aligned. It usually takes two people. Um, you can get inventive with trying to hang a, you know, with a, what do you call them, a straps, a strap. And but you would not out, recommend that. No, no, it's 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 pretty difficult. It's much easier with two people. Right. So, um, it's basically so we've threaded the bolts through. Uh, someone's holding the rack on the other side for I the can moment. See their feet. Who is that? Tom. Tom is holding it, and uh, this is a stiffener. This is a. Uh, these are uh, designed to go in and to give a little bit more support. Uh, the tire rack will work fine without them, but these stiffeners definitely stop a lot of movement in the bottom of the tire rack. Um, this is just doing the, the, the only problem with these mounting these is that you need two sockets now rather than a mm. open end spanner and a socket. So most people don't have it. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to need two two sockets. Or at least some way of holding it. So this is you, can, you can call your buddy Clyde next door and, and have borrow him come his. up. Yeah, borrow his. Exactly. It's, and it's yeah. a 17 on the outside and a 15 millimeter on the inside. We keep to metric just for sake of a metric car. That's because you're from a metric country, yeah? Well, this and this car is basically a Fiat anyway. So Right. So anyway, so, so we've got the bottom mounted. It's not tight. There's still enough movement in the bottom to be able to adjustments, yeah. get these wedges in. As you can see, the wedges are going in with the urethane. The hard urethane is obviously on the exterior, and then the soft uh, rubber-like compound is against the painted surface to protect it. Right. Now, okay. the number plate goes in between each of these. If you're not doing a number plate install, so you're watching this for the right-hand side, then you would uh, obviously just have it straight against Oh, look at that. that. The mount goes up and well. Obviously, I, I guess, the bolts yeah. are still loose. Yeah. So, so basically, somebody can buy a bigger set of tires for their vehicle later, and and the thing will go up and down so they can show sure. off their license plate. Absolutely. And not absolutely. get pulled over by some overzealous sheriff that wants. Yeah, and to for know. the OEM wheels, it seems to be about in the middle of the slot works. So, right. you know, that's that's a little bit up to the customer. So that's the inside view. That's the polyurethane what is that the, that's the rubber mounts going on first correct and then we've got the urethane um, stiffener right. and then just the washer and the nylock nut so okay. all of these all of these nuts are nylock so they they won't unwind all right so now you got the same same issue where it's oh i see because you can't get the other thing in there. okay so now you've got now you need an open end wrench so the tool requirement we may do a little picture for a tool requirement, but it's basically two sockets, uh, 15, 17 millimeters, and then uh, an opening wrench that's a 15. Right. Okay. So the plate's in, everything's in. What's left to do? I see so, wires hanging. Yeah, for sure. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that all these mounts are square and uh, level, and then you want to torque everything down. Oh, comes with a lovely sticker, red, white, and well, red, silver, and blue, I see. Yep. And it's actually made in uh, in the United States of America, which is good. And you and you weren't. <laughs> All right. Much, so what, do you, what are you doing? What are you, are you doing with this? You're putting back here. in the 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 the, fl the the frame thing, yeah. Correct. The, the we put it back in, and that's because we're you know we're still using the old lights, um, just because of simplicity, so we don't get codes on the dashboard. Okay. So we're putting them because the LEDs would trip a code saying you've got a bulb out. The, the no, yeah. Well, it it's exactly the the uh, yeah, exactly. It's um. The uh, LEDs this looks, this looks are not high enough here. resistance. So this is putting in splices. Now the LEDs are not don't have a polarity, so you don't need to worry about the positive or negative. Even though we have a red wire and a black wire, um, you, the, yeah, there's no need for you to worry. So you just connect it up. That's a splice. So you you'll try to you work out how the splice works. Generally, the wire you're connecting goes on the inside, and the through wire goes on the outside. And you just make sure that it's in the right placement before you crush down the 
piece of metal. And you can always call Clyde next door if you need to and have him come over and show you how it's done because he's probably a better electrician than all of us, right? Correct, correct. If, if, uh, you can splice them in however you like. These, these, uh, these splices are very handy, uh, but you could also take off some of the wire and actually solder them in and then insulate them. In this country, we call it solder, believe it or solder, not. Solder, solder. You solder. call it solder. Solder, yes. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> what country are you from again? <laughs> California? New Zealand, California, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you're crimping those down and you just bury those back in Correct. the door. And we've got the lights turned on right now, which is handy because you, you will know straight away whether you have a connection or not. Right. Let's take it's a 12 look. volts, so it's not enough to. See. Aha, the LEDs so we got are it. working. Yep. And if you have any issues, then you're going to need to remove that splice and re splice it. Okay, you're shoving it back the, the, uh, the weatherproofing yep. and the. And then we're putting in, and that's actually should be underneath the wires. The wires should be on top of that insulation. So. It's a little bit incorrect, but it, it doesn't really matter because it's going to move. Okay. Reattaching the... Inside cover. The bog roll holder. Yep. Now, these are the things Tom, to mount the tires. To Tom is yep, putting the two horizontals. That's the two horizontal at the bottom, uh, like nut holes. And it's so the tire some rests anti, on that. That's some anti-seize. Anti -seize. Right. And so you want to talk those off pretty tight. They don't, they don't need to be uh, a lot, probably uh, 30, 30 foot-pounds. Just kind of like a, uh, that's all Tom's doing there. So yep. uh, and the, you know, yep. Not too much of a grunt, but just enough. Yep. Two-handed grunt, and then he's good to go. And then the tire basically just rests on that, and you put the bolts through. Correct. So you're putting in the lug nuts now, and you can use the, the these are the ones that come with the kit, uh, but the OEM ones will work fine as well. And there's the happy couple. Yeah, thank them very much. If you have any questions about any Landed Gear products and or installation videos, click on the link below.